hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this cool and creative title animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugins so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in after effects now let's create a new composition I'll call it as main animation as always width is 1920 height is 1080 frame rate is 30 duration is 1.30 seconds and for the background color I'll choose solid black and hit ok go to the choose grid and guide option and hit titles affection now choose our text tool type any text you want i'll type over here creative hit ctrl a to select all the text and i'll increase a little bit font size up to let's say 200 you are free to choose anything you want Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Press V for selection tool. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Go to the character option and I'll increase the font size a little bit. Yeah, this looks good. Press V for selection tool by holding shift. I'll drag it over here. Now hit Ctrl D on keyboard. I'll this one select this text and choose white color hit ctrl D I'll select this text and I'll same color choose same color over here also white color now after that what I'll do I'll choose this rectangle tool I don't want any stroke because we are making this to create one mask so hit ok and choose fill color anything you want by holding shift i'll create one rectangle press ctrl alt home align it to the center just like this go to this rectangle one go to the rectangle path one unlink this size option i'll move it over here something like this now go to the transform rectangle one and for this Q property I'll choose 20 just like this now after that what I'll do is I'll enable these two layers first uh, first thing what I'll do I'll select my text I'll choose the rectangle tool and i'll create one mask for this this creative text if you had this one as you can see we have one mask over here now what i'll do I'll select this mask or this one hit ctrl c select this text and hit ctrl v now i'll hide the first one press m so we can see that marks go to the mask property select this text and press let's press M so we can see the mask properties over here I'll choose inverted as we can see we have one text like this and another one is like this now after that what I'll do I'll select both of them press P for position property and create one keyframe go up to 1.5 seconds and again create one keyframe and move our text over here select this first one press v for selection tool and i'll drag this up to here let's say and select this second text and move this over here so we will get this kind of animation now after that what I'll do I'll hide one of them and for this one I'll create one mask another shape layer 
create one shape layer over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center i'll move this over here and drag this shape over here hit enter let's call it as mask select this text press f4 so we can see our track mat option i'll choose alpha matte mask after that hit after that hit ctrl d drag this layer over here mask to select this creative text and i'll choose alpha inverted max mask so if i hit play we are getting this kind of animation we don't want any bending like this so for that what i'll do i'll select this mask i'll move it over here and i'll select this mask and i'll move it over here yep this much is fine now after that choose this to fit select this keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and i'll adjust it like this so we are getting this kind of animation now after that what i'll do i'll select both of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as first text and hit ok now i'll hide this one for now now we will deal with this this one and this shape i'll choose let's say alpha mat so we have this kind of thing now after that i'll go to the shape layer one context rectangle one rectangle path one as you know earlier we have unlinked this thing so now what i'll do i'll create one keyframe at one point five let's say again i'll over create one keyframe and at the start what i'll do i'll make it zero select this keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and adjust it like this if i repeat play we are getting something like this now after that if i unhide this layer so we'll get something like this but as we can see it looks quite weird so for now what i'll do i'll select this shape layer one let's call it as mask hit ctrl t i'll drag this layer over here select this one and i alpha inverted mask so now we are getting some cool animation select this both mask one hit u i'll move this layer over here a little bit so we will get some difference over here now if you want select this text or let's say i'll create one null object select both of them make a parent with this null object now i'll drag this null object over here or something Now after that what I'll do, I'll select both of them, hit ctrl D to duplicate that. Now I'll select this two and I'll delete this parenting. Now after that what I'll do, I'll select all these three and I'll drag it over here. So our main red layer is on the top. Now I'll move this null object over here. I'll select this creative text. I'll go to the character menu. I don't want fill for them. I want one color for them. So I'll choose red color. And for the stroke, I'll choose three. Something like that. And if you want, then you can change the color of this text. Uh, you can choose anything you want for now i'll choose something like 
this or so let's say blue select this create another null object and make a parent with this and i'll move this text over here zoom in a little bit i'll select this layers and i'll drag it over here now after that create one another null object we need to select all the layers who are not parent with anyone and we'll parent with this null 3 select this null object press p for position property i'll click on the stopwatch and type wiggle expression that's 3 comma 3 so we'll get some kind of wiggly effect over here select all of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as text hit ok hit ctrl d press s for scaling option unlink this option and press minus one hit p for position property and bring it down now after that what i'll do hit ctrl n to create a fractal noise composition hit ok press ctrl y to create one solid background go to the effect and presets panel apply fractal noise effect on it i'll increase the contrast also increase let's increase the brightness make it a little bit more complex now go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and drag our fractal noise over here and unhide this select this text go to the compound blur option and apply this compound blur and let's make it fractal noise now go to this fractal noise go to the transform property and link the transform increase the scale width and decrease the scale height go to the main animation if I hit play, we are getting something like this. Create one adjustment layer. Go to the effect and presets panel and apply glow effect on it. Increase the radius up to 50. Glow threshold up to 90. Or let's say 100. For the glow intensity, I'll type 0.5. We are getting this kind of animation. Go to the fractal noise effect and apply alt click on the stopwatch and type time into 40. Now, if I go to the main animation, we will get some animation over here also. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.